kind of fun. Yeah. What's up, gamers? Greetings. Back at Hi. it. Back at it with the Homestuck Monday. We got uh, more Pester Quest. I'm excited because I got Dave next. I love Dave. Dave is good. A very good boy. Also, we sound good on stream. Okay, okay good. Thank you. Whoa. Hopefully no no internet issues today. There won't oh, be any because us. I still have the box in my room. <laughs> as long as I don't like kick it, we'll be fine. Right. Please don't kick it. As long as Leo doesn't fucking drop kick it. <laughs> Alright. Volume <laughs> three. A king's feast of ass. Already starting off pretty great. Yeah. <laughs> Let's be real. No. <laughs> okay. End of I'm stream. Lies no. only. Lies only. <laughs> as much as you enjoy your new friends, they all seem a little lonely. Like maybe they don't have any friends besides the ones that uh, they talk to online. Is online friendship a reasonable alternative to a more traditional face-to-face -face friendship? Are relationships and, dare you say, families that you choose not just as important, if not more so, than those you are able to touch and feel? Damn. Maybe being a little too real. You decide not to think about it too hard. But if you're being honest with yourself, maybe you aren't terribly interested in the greater context of found family and interpersonal relationships in the instant message era. You've got a fever. And the only cure for this disease, called friendship, is to mildly inconvenience a few teenagers. <laughs> <laughs> As much of I a love inconveniencing people. Yeah. Oh, nice. That was a good. <laughs> 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 that went down like a box of nails. <laughs> <laughs> Tasty. Delicious. Crunchy. Crunch. Yeah! Nice and smooth. As much of a delight as it's been to make a young boy face his existential future, rob a woman of her booze stash, and then self-reflect about the value of contextual relationships, it's all felt a little heavy-handed. What you need is an emotional palate cleanser. There are two kids left on this tour de force, and... Both sound like they'd make exquisite friends. I'd like to point out, the same fuckery seems to be going on, because the existential thing was a bad end. Yeah. Hmm. Hmm. Uh, time to go full-on easy mode here. You've heard so much about this guy, you feel like you got this one in the goddamn bag. With confidence, you zap yourself onwards. What am I looking at? Oh! You're already here. Wherever here is, it is blisteringly hot. You nigh instantaneously regret your choice of apparel. Why did you instinctively put your hoodie back on over this... robe? Gown? You the mailman, or... male... person? This must be Dave. Rose mentioned he talked a lot, and as you start to explain it, uh, as you start to explain, it becomes apparent he is having this conversation at you, not with you. <laughs> wow, it is unbelievably humid. I love him so much. <laughs> yeah. Person adjacent. Anyway, Egbert told me you'd show up eventually. Which I never doubted for a second, since one of the core tenets of the United States Postal Service is that you visit four extremely specific and spread out teenagers while sweating all over yourself. Practically a crime <laughs> to me. Ugh. Moist. Ugh. Bad word. <laughs> Practically a crime not not to not be increasingly moist while out here delivering letters on the roof of a sky rise. <laughs> Would you know is the most effective and legal way to drop off the post? Glamier than a New England potluck wandering around on the roof with no package. 
It is actually really cool how much this kid seems to talk at you, but you are barely listening. Has the sun always been that... red? Has the sky always been that... wavy? Uh, you alright? You are hardly alright. You tug at the collar of your soggy mess of a hoodie. This is an overwhelming, oppressive heat. An almost impenetrable air fills your lungs as you try and take a series of shallower and shallower breaths. The world fades to white. <laughs> I love you just talking at us, and then we're, we're just like dying. We just, just fall over. Fucking I love how we like immediately got, got heat stroke or something. <laughs> yeah. yeah. When you wake up, you're sitting propped up on a cheap futon in front of a large television. A rough approximation of a person does an elaborate series of controlled falls culminating in what you can only describe as skateboarding for assholes. <laughs> on your left, Dave exists in a quantum state that is both somehow sitting and laying down, but also neither. Ah, With I love that position. Yeah, man. Favorite. <laughs> With the precision of a Swiss watchmaker, he deftly presses a series of buttons that makes the awful polygon man on screen T-pose and fall face forward into the ground. Oh, he's playing skate? Yeah. Seconds later, his skateboard flops helplessly next to him. He doesn't look away from the screen as he speaks. So, uh, I guess you lived. It's not that I'm invested, but John might be sad. Classic John. You try and emulate his incredibly casual body language as you slide your body down the futon. Your legs already barely reach the ground. <laughs> yeah. That guy's a dork, but I taught him everything he knows. You ask him if he taught him how to be a dork. You ask, uh, you affect a completely uninterested face as though the sickness of your third degree burn is not the single most <laughs> exciting moment of your entire life. <laughs> 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 the most exciting thing in my life. The thing with the fifth third degree burn. <laughs> uh, God damn. Owned in my own home. Owned within an inch of my life. I'm on the edge of reading out that hand of friendship, and this chucklehead long lives the king's me. A bit is so stupid. He just keeps going. He just going. doesn't want to let it end. <laughs> <laughs> At least it does it in like smart ways. No, absolutely. These kids. <laughs> I would almost say they're too smart, but essentially him. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> if someone said this to me, I don't think I could continue the conversation. I just don't know I what to say next. I just wouldn't be able to recover. Leave. I just leave. <laughs> Dive out through the window. <laughs> uh, Sounds of Gazelle turn my useless body at Jonathan Taylor's Thomas's persona watches on. Who will race him but now? Who's going to teach him about combat? Philosophy. Life. By the way, put your nasty sweatshirt in the shower. In the shower? In the shower. <laughs> <laughs> the shower or dope? <laughs> dope, dope, dope. Dope, dope. <laughs> That's dope. Uh, I, should we be normal? Be do we pretend to be unaffected or do we have the rightful response that both you and I have <laughs> immediately? <laughs> I think the response that anyone would have, really. Yeah. yeah um... <laughs> Bro, the shower? The fucking like, shower, dude? Yeah, I'm I'm affected by that. Let's see if this is the bad end. The shower? Yeah. What? The shower? Yeah, it smelled, so I tossed it in there. You don't do laundry, dude. Do Ran you? the hot water. Yeah. You can thank me later. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Won't someone need that? You don't want to put anyone out. You've all- uh, you've already taken up so much of their hospitality. Also, you don't think that's how you're supposed to wash clothes. Mm. Nah, I'm gonna browse out for a while. Oh? Oh? Is-
Is oh. that, could oh. that could that be the motherfucker with the leaf blower? <laughs> uh, it's the motherfucker with the leaf blower. Throw a rock. Oh, <laughs> uh, yeah. Nah. He's paid by the fucking neighborhood whatever. Nah, it is not his fault. The it's neighborhood crotch. Fault. Yeah, the neighborhood crotch. <gasps> Vulgar. Ah, <laughs> uh, there he is, right outside my window. Y'all hear that shit? Mm. I, I can barely hear it through Discord, and it sounds great. Broom. <laughs> <laughs> oh, lordy. Bro, who's vacuuming? <laughs> It happens sometimes. Yeah. Probably something puppet related. He avoids the laundry minefield by opting for the nuclear option, though you <laughs> guess that makes sense. There are a lot of puppets around, which strikes you as extremely normal and reasonable and not even a little whack. <clears throat> yeah, puppet rule, end of story. Shit, close the book on that one. Time for Betty Bye, kid. Little man about to get his 8 to 10 on snug, at, on snug as a bug in the fucking rug. Tuck the fucking tight as can be on his way to Slumberland. Emahu never fucking heard of him. Shit, hold on. He sits up to fish something out of his pocket. Ah, a palm uh, a phone. He gets a phone from his pocket. You're not sure what you were thinking. As a perfectly normal human, being from a 100% real and tangible Earth, you know what a cell phone is. What is that, a first gen? Yikes. <laughs> he ignores your jab, and you pretend not to be reading over his shoulder, though it is, uh, it probably could not be more obvious that you are. Hi! Did you meet the mailman? Or did you meet the mailman? Well, the mailman? Wow. <laughs> My guy, we have gone over this time and time again. How do I put this in terms you can understand? Have you ever met a mailman in your life? <clears throat> Even in the shitty Costner flick, you love the dude. Ha you love the dude has the decency at least wear the outfit. <laughs> I knew you watched it. No, I never waste my precious time watching even a single one of those Z-list garbage you try and recommend me. I'm just stating stone cold facts. I made him out of soda now. I just read an outline in browse a few review sites to see what people were saying. I don't know, it sounds like that probably took a lot more time and effort than just watching the movie itself. What I'm saying is this isn't a mailman. <laughs> <laughs> I don't even think this is a person. You have thrust- You have thrust a person-styled entity into my life under an alluring guise of parcel delivery. Which, if I'm understanding right now, right, this this clown isn't even a very good on account of how bad they bungled the only delivery that mattered. I'm bungling all these deliveries. I'm the clown. We're all <laughs> clowns here. It's okay, Bobo. We love you anyway. Yeah. <laughs> 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 uh... <laughs> Alice Stallone had a good sense to be skeptical of this absolute fucking tomfoolery. Don't be a dick. The mailman's cool. John, I cannot stress this enough. You wouldn't know cool if it bit you right in the ass. Can you imagine? No. The dopest person you've ever met chomping away, just really getting up in there, ice cold, ear deep in the king's feast of ass. What the hell are you talking about? Try and keep up, Egbert. This is where we have the quiz. <laughs> he looks uncharacteristically startled as he glances back in your direction to find you only a few inches away, adamantly <laughs> reading his private conversation with a friend. <laughs> We're, like, breathing on his ear. We're just yeah. like, Hey, buddy. Who you texting? <laughs> hey, is that John? Hey, is that, is that my good friend John? <laughs> Matt, is that John who thinks I am male, male, me, male, male, man? Can I get in on this conversation? How about it, buddy? How is he doing? <laughs> how is John doing? Well, really, I know how he's doing because I am reading. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Your phone sucks. <laughs> Your phone sucks. 
fuck. You okay? You good? I didn't get a new chair. <laughs> Is it broken? Yes, but not horribly right now. <laughs> this is just a general statement because holy shit, this chair sucks. Here, wait. <laughs> it crashed some in the hound. <laughs> what? I started to hear dogs barking, so I said you crashed some in the hound. <laughs> uh, oh, this chair sucks. Falling your part at the seams. Jesus Christ, you're like a cat. I like big. How? Um, how much of that did you see? You definitely didn't see him having a playfully flirtatio flirtatious chat with a longtime friend, if that's what he's asking you. Dave desperately tries to refocus on his game hijinks. He makes his character, who you can see he has named Tony Cock, do what you could what do what could be described as some inflame insane flips and shit. Inflame shits and flips. Master. Like something by Fieri would say. <laughs> no, it's inflamed it like your wounds. Oh no. Just throw <laughs> things. Oh god. <laughs> oh god. There's nothing at all flirtation about two bros discussing eating ass. No. Just <laughs> being straight as two arrows who are who are also straight. I mean how would that even work? That it wouldn't, that's how. That's all there really is to say about that. You reassure, you reassure him that it is okay to be honest about his feelings. You're not here to judge him. John seems very nice. They would be cute together. You're gonna give him a crisis. Mm. <laughs> Dave kills us with the skateboard. <laughs> <laughs> Strangles us with a puppet string. <laughs> well, we're, st we're being strangled, but we're still like, you'd be nice together. <laughs> together. Like how? Like bros? <laughs> together like friends? <laughs> Just like bro dudes? Dude bro bros? Dudes. <laughs> Just hanging? Being yeah. friends? All friendly? But not that friendly. <laughs> Just kind of friendly. Way. <laughs> no, don't tell me. I actually don't give even a single shit about this line of thought. I might not have picked this up, but I am 100% not a homo. Definitely 100% not a homosexual. Pretty much crawling in moist, voluptuous hose on the regular. Wait, hoes are real? <laughs> hoes are real? <laughs> I thought they were just the internet thing. Yeah. Oh my goodness. <laughs> Hell yeah, hoes are real. I thought they were like mythological creatures, like brownies and imps. <laughs> And unicorn. Yeah. And they're damp. <laughs> the worst. Uh. Shit! Look, I gotta start at square one with this hapless asshole. What school do you go to? The utter astonishment you feel at this earth-shattering revelation sends your consciousness for a spin, but you manage to steal yourself. This isn't your first tough customer. You tell Dave that ho is, is a gender-neutral term. Anyone can be a ho if they believe in themselves. Ho-like behavior knows no limits. <laughs> 
No mask. Oh my god, I'm putting that in the mood right now. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Despite just learning they were real mere moments ago, you are confident that to be a hoe is to be free. Oh. It's pretty dope, I guess. It's not. It's not like I ever thought of it. I mean, for the... For your ironic payoff, I, uh, obviously. Can you imagine the look on his face? His best bro coming up with him, coming up to him with some dire news. I look him in the shoulder, red with tears, as I put a hand on his shoulder and say, "John, not to alarm you, but I'm gay now. Your your clueless dipshit wiles have finally won me over." <laughs> no, that sucks. Did JoJo post? Thinking about this hard, huh, Dave? Yeah. <laughs> did a joke show. No, he didn't. He just put his hand on his face. Leave me alone. That's a JoJo. I That's a JoJo. I'm not. That's I a JoJo. It. <laughs> Look at him, JoJo. He's a JoJo. <laughs> a JoJo. Shut the fuck up and just continue. Never. I don't know what you're talking about. I Stop live to spite you. Uh, his speech has become even quicker than normal as he stands and paces frantically around the apartment, completely abandoning his poor Tony. Not Tony. Not Tony Cock. Oh, <laughs> poor Tony. Ah, uh, yeah. Yeah, boy. Oh, yeah. Yeah, my loud. leaf blower man that's is back. good stuff. Bro, put that right in my ear. Oh, yeah. Go, here. Go. I'll, I'll bring my mic up to the window. Go right up to the window and just hear. <laughs> Blinds and stare at him. <laughs> hey man, how you doing? You doing good? With your leaf blowing? Creak. Okay, that's enough of that. Uh. <laughs> uh. They're a bunch of fucking idiots. <laughs> yeah. This is purely hypothetical. If I liked anyone, which I don't on account of being too fucking smooth to time myself down. Is he pacing? <laughs> yeah. <laughs> He'll probably be another one of my friends. Uh. You don't know her, she's not from around here. You from Canada? <laughs> <laughs> so it basically means I can't have a thing. A thing. For John. <laughs> you, 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 oh, buddy. Oh my god, I know you're precious. <laughs> yeah. Case closed. By unanimous decision, the jury finds in favor of the defendant. Me. Defending my sexuality. <laughs> my totally <laughs> ironclad heterosexuality. It seems to you like he's got a lot to think about, and maybe this is a little heavy for the first meeting. You already feel emotionally exhausted. I feel intrigued. No fucking way, we're in this one for long haul, partner. Damn it. <laughs> we are entrenched in this shit. You and me are fighting on the front lines of, of is he, isn't he World War One? Getting flashbacks to the Tavros conversation. Yeah. <laughs> Troops are spilling over the embankment, armed to the teeth with various literature and pamphlets. I'm already learning so much about myself. <laughs> oh. Uh. Is that good? <laughs> the enemy is at the gates of my sexuality, and our air support is nowhere to be seen. If I don't make it, tell my wife or maybe my husband that I died like I lived. Completely baller in every conceivable way. <laughs> this conversation train has not just gone off the rails, but is crashing headfirst into the nearest village. 
just some unsuspecting Hamlet fallen prey to this out of control ride. I forgot Hamlet meant village, and I just was imagining like Shakespeare Hamlet just hit the fucking train. <laughs> <laughs> This is no longer a conversation you have any say in. You desperately look around the room for anything else to talk about. So, uh, puppets, right? <laughs> well, no, 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 no. You fucked up, mailman. You opened the floodgates of introspection. We are balls deep in the discourse waters and there's no one to blame but yourself. He stops pacing to look contemplative. His voice lowers to a mumble. Is he still talking to you? Does he still want to talk about this or not? It is nearly impossible to tell. Now, okay, hear me out. Do I have to come up with a gay name now? Or can I still be Dave? I'm thinking <laughs> Gabe. Let's get ourselves. That's an amateur choice. A gay name. A gay name. A gay... Everyone, quickly, what's your gay name? Um... <laughs> Cocksucker69. Yeah. <laughs> it's in username style. Obviously my full title will be Gabe Strider Dick Rider. Okay, that's enough. There has got to be a better way than this. You are so tired. <laughs> All this because we asked about the shower? That was our only choice in this whole thing. Yep. We questioned him about the shower and sent him spiraling into a into a sexual crisis. <laughs> well, you put your clothes in the shower? Yeah. Okay. Anyway, I, I don't You're know gay. if I'm gay or not. Yeah. It's <laughs> just. <laughs> <laughs> Sorry about that, about sister popped her head in. Yeah, so we asked him about the shower, and then we tell him he might be gay, and he just completely dissolves. Just loses <laughs> his fucking mind. Oh, buddy. Just breaks. Yeah. Alright, I guess we have to pretend to be cool with the shower. Yeah, we're real <laughs> yeah. cool. Dope. Dope, dope, dope. Dope, 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 dope. dope. You are definitely the sort of person who says dope often and casually. You tell him, dopely, that you are a person who is not caught, caught up in the small details of decorum or personal propriety. In fact, it doesn't bother you at all that he took your only worldly possessions and tossed them in a shower while, while you were unconscious. What's some light corpse looting among bros? <laughs> this chapter is comedy gold! It's so fucking choice, dude. <laughs> Well, I think this should be the only thing we do now. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Esther oh, Quest it. only. Okay, let's, just, let's just do this chapter over and over again. Forever. Yeah. I mean, there's no way the rest of the game can get any better than this right here, right now, in this <laughs> moment. <laughs> I love Dave so much. Such a fucking goober. He's so stupid. <laughs> Okay. The whole chapter. All the joys can wear one of my bro's shirts. He usually has a fresh stash hidden in here. Dope. Tight. Sick. Nothing Tight. weird about hiding some shirts in the living room. Just gonna have a look-see. Holy shit, there are a lot of puppets in here. Yeah, dude, puppet zone. <laughs> Enough said. My bro's got the market cornered on puppet-based endeavors. Backed up against the wall like a feral beast isn't for more flesh-oriented content. Little guy's probably scales. Just wants to protect his nest and mouth-to-mouth -mouth feed his babies. The only choice is puppet smut for a reasonable fee. What the f- <laughs> What the fuck does any of that mean? 
You look back to Dave, but he's on his phone. <laughs> God damn, that is so cool, actually. He just says all- he leaves us with that and goes on his phone? Like, what am I supposed to do now? <laughs> <laughs> there is something weird about this whole setup that you just can't put your finger on. For one, you can't seem to find any secret shirts anywhere. It's all just puppets and plushes and DJ equipment. Oh my. Yeah, bro. Yeah, with my bro, you have to think of the potential for ironic payoff. The guy's always one step ahead. Just think, just when you think you've got it all figured out, it was all just some trap to make you think you've gotten the goat. The goat is long gone. Makes you think maybe there never was a goat. Maybe it was another barnyard animal all along. Maybe it was a cow. You've been duped and looking for a goat like some dumb asshole. Maybe the goat really <laughs> gets you, really subvert the whole thing. <laughs> you take a second to wonder if he is really using the term ironic correctly in this instance. By dictionary definition, yes, a goat getting you is the opposite of how that situation should go. Thank god you settled that. <laughs> As you are about to re reassure Dave that this joke tracks, you catch some movement in the corner of your eye. Was that... a camera? It couldn't have possibly been a camera. Oh, nope, there it is again. There is a camera coming out of the ice dispenser. The horror house. <laughs> yep. <laughs> <laughs> oh lord. It whirs softly as you approach, its mechanical eye trained on you. How long has this thing been watching? Is this Dave's? You lean in to take a closer look, but your foot catches on something. You fall flat on your face. Dave seems too engrossed in the conversation he's having on his phone to pay you much mind, occasionally mumbling something out loud a few times before presumably typing it out. <laughs> oh, bud. You search for whatever it is that made you beef it so royally. You know, beef it. Like, fall down. That is a real phrase that humans say. <laughs> In Adventure Time. Yup. <laughs> <laughs> a small tripwire stands taut a few inches off the ground. You must not have disturbed it enough to set off whatever contraption it's attached to, apparently. Even though we totally beefed it. Yeah. <laughs> beefed it. <laughs> beefed it. Beefed it. <laughs> oh, yeah, sometimes we're more of a psycho. You think, oh, fuck me, it definitely beefed it, which is a phrase that is real. <laughs> which is a phrase that is real. <laughs> <laughs> and you sit there waiting on bated breath for her to be fucked deep in velvety marionette dick. Yeah. And it never comes. You go the rest of your day just waiting for the payoff from your dipshit mistake. And it never comes. You wake up in cold sweats for weeks, yearning for a release that will never find you and it hits you. You've been fucking bamboozled by the master yet again. There is no library booby trap. No Rube Goldberg device set up to enact a series of complicated shenanigans, ultimately resulting in a being buried alive in Kermit the Frog plus Amphibious Dong. Beautiful, really. Damn, bro, you look like this? <laughs> <laughs> I mean, yeah, I guess. Keeps me on my toes. Eels never even met the ground. Like a prime <laughs> ballerina with a head full of dreams and nothing to lose. God's gift. To <laughs> Please. Please. I know. I just, sorry, I just, it just caught up with me, the puppet dog. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Hit you on delay, huh? Yeah. <laughs> yeah like a elaborate Rube Goldberg. <laughs> you ducked and it missed you, and then it swung all the way back around and smacked you in the face. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> oh, God. <laughs> this is a fucking mess. <sighs> God's gift plays are for the straight <laughs> taste into our undelay to I mean, for, for my adoring fans. They go ape shit for this sort of thing, but it's just another day in the life for dancer extraordinaire Dave Strider. 
I haven't fallen for a trap <laughs> like that since I was a baby. Oh, Trey. No. Real rookie mistake, man, man. Looking tired, maybe. Drained. Oh my god, is he mumble rapping at you? This is the greatest <laughs> day of your life. What the fuck? Uh, hey, Paige. Paige in chat. How you doing? Uh, Paige Race. Hey. Yeah. Hi. Kermit's dong smacks me. Dave is throwing us for a loop. <laughs> Fucking love this route, dude. Mm -hmm. <laughs> it's. This, this is, is one of the funniest chapters in the entire, like, three games we've done so far. Mm -hmm. <laughs> God, <laughs> my fucking lungs. I just... Oh God. <laughs> oh, okay. This is mobile rapping at us without our consent. <laughs> <laughs> without our consent. <laughs> oh God, I'm gonna get fucking lightheaded. <laughs> oh God. <laughs> More pushes <laughs> than. I've been lost in town. <laughs> I can't breathe. <laughs> Jesus Christ. <laughs> is this a panic attack? <laughs> <laughs> Are you panicking? Are his fires too sick? <laughs> <laughs> I have fire related trauma. <laughs> oh no! Oh, the sick burns! <sighs> God. King just tried to drop the illest fires. Whoop. Because that beats the crown. Rhyming puppet with puppet. Call that puppet rhyme. <laughs> Killing all ventriloquists. Puppet on Puppet Crimes! <laughs> he goes on like this for some time with what could be described as bars of a similar caliber. The narrative focus shifts to your inner thoughts out of necessity because it turns out writing raps is really hard. <laughs> he isn't exactly great, but you're not really a rap expert, despite what your social media opinions might imply. Unless you count Hatched to Dance, which of course you do. Why wouldn't you? Mm. Wait. What? What does that mean? Why'd you think that? The whole scenario feels a little weird and familiar to you. All of these kids feel familiar to you. You learn something new about Dave and you feel like you already sort of knew it. You can't place it. Despite having met Dave no less than half an hour ago, something feels just slightly off about him. Something about his actions feels so performative in nature, like he's pantomiming in front of an audience. As Dave continues to rap, you remember that you are in front of an audience. You cast a glance over to the camera, but also to the hundreds of stuffed little creatures staring at you with their lifeless eyes. Amidst your revelation, we check back in on Dave because I'm getting paid to write this, so I should probably make what the fucking jokes already. <laughs> <laughs> Master of my two, I'm the ace. Hardware! <laughs> God, what? <laughs> <laughs> Got more hosts than a gardener. Yard care! <laughs> nice! <laughs> <laughs> Fucking nice, dude. Nice, man! <laughs> uh, the chaotic and surreal energy of this scene sends a shock of nervous energy down your spine. You feel alarmingly nude without the comfort and familiar warmth of your sweater. There's something about it that grounded you, something that felt like home. Adrian says break the fourth wall harder, or break the fourth wall more, break it harder, writer. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> the fourth wall's in pieces on the floor. 
That's where we stepped through. Shattered. <laughs> Quite literally. Uh, Dave concludes his masterpiece with an elaborate series of yeahs and uhs. Just as you see the camera turn away from him ever so slightly to focus on something else before retreating back into the ice dispenser. It almost makes it look a little bashful. That's kind of adorable, actually. Despite the fanfic you've written in your head about a cool kid and his new best robot <laughs> friend, the reality of the situation sets in. You have yet to make friends with this character and it all has kind of felt surreal and weird to you. Maybe it's time to zap back and hard reset this continuity and try again. What does that mean? I said that out loud. Oh no. I feel like I'm missing an important part of the puzzle here. Oh, did he read or er, uh hear that? How does this work exactly? Sometimes you just narrate what you're thinking. <laughs> kind of a problem. <laughs> <laughs> it's fucking power move. <laughs> In that case, we've been equally talking at each other. Yeah. <laughs> and neither of us listen. <laughs> Why has nobody called you out on this before now? You put your hand in question before. <laughs> it's just sinking in though, I guess. You put your hand on the counter to stabilize yourself, and your fingers brush up against something clandestinely polo, just barely poking out from beneath a pile of disco discount plush nobodies. Is a neatly retail folded shirt. <laughs> <laughs> Do we wear the shirt? Oh my gosh, it's screaming at us to wear the shirt. <laughs> wear the shirt. Wear the shirt. Wear it. Absolutely, we have to- I don't care if we fail here, let's wear the shirt. Yeah, let's wear it. <laughs> Obviously, you are going to put the shirt on. You don't want to be the only one not wearing a cool shirt. You need some privacy? We're not wearing anything. <laughs> I'm not sure where one layer of you ends and the other begins. <laughs> Doubt the audience cares. What? We care now. The camera's back. Oh, you guess being on camera like this is kind of fucking whack, you say? So pointedly, your sprite even shows up on screen for a second. Yeah, that's right. <laughs> we went all out for this one. <laughs> there we are. They're just like, <laughs> they're just like, what the fuck do you mean sprite? <laughs> like soda? You want a yeah. drink? <laughs> You're wondering if there was a place here that wasn't under constant surveillance, like. How does this kid even take a shit in peace? You know everyone's thinking it. Mm. <laughs> 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 yeah, thinking it. Apparently saying it too. <laughs> God. Don't no mind the questionings. I'm sure the, the public at large is eager to know the answer, but my room isn't wired up, no. About to get you fired up, though. Again with the raps. Oh, you have to ask before you start mumble rapping at people! Yeah. Menagerie <laughs> <laughs> is multiplying with. Uh... Maybe not this second. Alright, damn. You accompany Dave <laughs> down the hallway to his room. You hear the shower on as you pass the bathroom, and you peek in to see your hoodie and nice gown on the tile being uselessly wetted by a low-pressure stream. You're welcome, by the way. <laughs> Thanks. Mm. Dave motions you to- We know. Yeah. <laughs> we know. Dave motions you to go in first, giving you the privacy you need to change into an extremely starched polo shirt and nothing else. This collar will not go down. This is absolutely what someone in 2009 would think is fresh as hell. Is it? <laughs> I don't know. I guess I'd have to go back to that 2009 to recall what I thought was fresh as hell. Yeah. yeah. Wouldn't be you. Damn. Oh. <laughs> now we're- Now, come on. Burn. To be fair, were any of us anywhere near fresh in 2009? 
I don't know. I was eight. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I don't know what I was doing in 2009. Playing Kingdom Hearts for the first time and sucking at it. <laughs> Did you do it in a fresh way? I don't know. I told you, I don't know what I do. I just Your guess. cat's on your chest page? Send pictures to the Twitter, please. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. I want to see your cat. <laughs> Uh, you look around the room for a bit. There are so many things in here. This would be a 13-year-old's wet dream, but to you it just seems a little... much. No, to me it seems rad. I still like his room. Oh, yeah. <laughs> it feels like this is a bunch of things someone thinks they should like. Let the fan art reflect that you've put on the shirt at this point. There isn't a mirror in here, but you can tell that this is someone out there's idea of... a look. Come on, show us the Sprite. <laughs> Happy juice. The door opens and Dave is standing there, but not walking in. He's leaned up against the door frame, sipping a juice. Where'd he get- where'd he get a juice? What the fuck? <laughs> Hallway juice, my guy. Hallway juice. Hallway juice. <laughs> Bro, you don't keep food stuff stashed around your house? I don't think we have a house. <laughs> We had like a, a fucking ramshackle shack. Yeah, an abandoned really building. Point. Yeah. What do you do when you get hungry? <clears throat> no, that's not it. You mean you usually just keep it in the fridge or whatever? Too obvious. <laughs> Someone help this useless clown. You assure Dave that you have met many clowns in your day, and only some of them were useless. <laughs> Name one. You... you. can't. <laughs> Why did you say that? Clowns are awful. Everybody knows this. Guess he's got you there. You know, despite the overwhelmingly plush decor of the rest of his house, there's a distinct lack of puppets in here. That's more my bros thing. Not that they are deliriously sick. <laughs> just, just a hospital ward full of the illest children you've ever seen. <laughs> Each, oh, the illest children. Each one more up to pup than the last. Up to pup? Yep, pup. Like puppets. You're gonna be honest, it doesn't really seem like his heart's in it. How do you mean? Well, it's just that he doesn't really seem to be all into puppets. Feels a little performative. Well, I guess I got my own stuff I'm into. If I were to rank it at 1 to 10, I'd say Pop's were a solid 7. You got this kid on the ropes. Just one more push. Stop saying things out loud. <laughs> In fact, you'd go so far as to say the puppet thing sort of sucks? It is extremely weird. The cameras, the hiding things like an animal, it all seems a little, you know, whack. For a while, he just seems to look at you almost as if he's sizing you up. He decks us. <laughs> <laughs> There's a long stretch where Dave doesn't break eye contact with you as he finishes his cute little juice and crumples it up. He takes an ambitious shot at the trash can and misses by about seven and a half feet. <laughs> Me. <laughs> Damn, could have sworn I had game. Alright, y'all stare intently at Dave. I'll be right back. Okay. <laughs> okay. Don't die. Oh god. This is the funniest yeah. route. Yeah. <laughs> like, who even needs all of Homesuck? We just need this. All of Homesuck? Just a comic about Dave, please. <laughs> <laughs> what? Fuck Homesuck. This is Dave Stuck. We're just. He's just sitting in his house talking. <laughs> Epilogues more like Dave vlogs. Dave vlogs. 
You know those like compilation videos where it's like this entire movie but only this character scenes? Yeah. The entirety of Homestuck with only Dave's panels and chats. <laughs> Man, I really, I really would like to see, like, just, like, <laughs> like actual vlogs from Dave just in his house, like, sitting on his chair, oh. like, spinning, just saying shit. That would be so fun. They're all, like, four to five hours long because he doesn't know how to stop talking. <laughs> yeah, he does not <laughs> shut the fuck up. He gets on one topic and stays on it for, like, like, at least three hours. <laughs> <laughs> he only stops his vlog because he has to he like gets thirsty <laughs> he loses his voice oh god uh, my word <clears throat> let's see what can I do to be productive right now while I, we wait for Leo I started playing Code Vein. Oh, nice. Yeah. I made a very pretty lady. Nice. Yeah, she's a strong. She's tall. She's strong. Although I'm using her as a, uh, as a ranger right now. The other, it feels nice to fight on regardless of what weapons I'm using, but ranger is fast. <laughs> mm. And has a gun. Well, he uses a bayonet, so I stab and slash and also shoot. <laughs> it's fun. <clears throat> Although, I am now positive that Dark Souls would not be fun for me. <laughs> because, uh, I'm on the first area and, well, like, the later game in Dark Souls would probably just not be fun for me. Because I'm, like, in the beginning of Code Vein. And I have died twice to just just various enemies ganging up on me. It's funny because when I'm dying, they just kind of keep kicking my face into the dirt until the screen goes black. Yeah, that's Dark Souls. <laughs> You wander around, and then some eldritch demon just decks you into the abyss. I'm back. I had to Hello. escort my folks Welcome out back. the door. My baby sister got a car. Nice. Yeah. Cool. I, I, I tried to get her to name it Aradia. Because <laughs> yeah. it's red. I told her because it's red, and it's like an Aries thing, and she's an Aries. She, she didn't know it was Homestuck, but my mom suggested... Bucky, and she likes that better. Better than Aradia? Uh. Yeah. <laughs> hurtful. <laughs> anyway. Uh, hey, Dorinda, you're doing a lot of talking about your cat's movements, but not a lot of showing. <laughs> Must yeah. Say. Yeah. Add <laughs> us on Twitter. At the <laughs> underscore planetaria. Please. Um, show I us your cat. your cat. I, at me... Specifically, I will gladly retweet. I love cats. I'm yeah, it's good. I was yeah, going for fun. Fun fact: I was going for a jog the other day because I need to move and like leave my house. Okay. And I saw a cat through my neighbor's window, and it took me like 30 seconds too long to realize that I shouldn't be staring through the window <laughs> at the cat. <laughs> 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 At least I don't wander into people's, like, backyards to pet their cats anymore. <laughs> anymore! Anymore! Look, I was in high school. It was acceptable, because I was a teenager. No, no it wasn't! <laughs> I was... <laughs> okay, it wasn't, but I still did it. <laughs> <laughs> no, Alright. Right. That's a little bald face lie. <laughs> Just fun Leo things. But Leo, if you want to go on more walks, you should play Pokemon Go with us. My phone doesn't yeah. work with Pokemon because yeah, it's get a, a new phone. boomer phone. Yeah, you have to get rid of your grandpa phone. I have a Nokia. <laughs> <laughs> One of my teachers had, like, I think he had an old-ass iPhone. It was just insistent on not getting a new one. 
<laughs> like not getting a new phone. Like, like that's nothing. Even, that's even worse here than an iPhone, which means yeah. that's not going to work soon, man. <laughs> yeah, I I hope you got a new phone, cause man, like give it another week and that is literally going to be a brick. Yeah. <laughs> Ugh. Alright, uh... Ah, fuck. You're throwing me off, mailman. Yes, that is correct. You are a faithful employee of the Postal Service. Fox. I mean, I definitely believe you, but let's say I didn't. Let's say I had a cool friend who, even though they were too cool to care about details like this, they were a little skeptical of this whole situation. Maybe they want some proof you were, you were who you said you were. I'm writing in chat, too. <laughs> oh, okay. You got it? Yeah, I got it. Thank you. No problem. Thank you. Yeah. Well, before they let you get any closer to their friends. Just throwing that hypothetical out there. Hypothetical. What proof could he possibly need? Say the oath. What? The oath. The male oath. The moth. <laughs> uh, look, the thing about that is... I mean, unless you re aren't really a mailman. Behind his sunglasses, Dave's eyes shift ever so slightly to what you might describe in a less immediately harrowing situation as a moderately priced looking mall katana mounted on his wall. You realize that maybe now isn't the best time to come clean about your impeccable ruse. Impeccable? <laughs> Can't believe you, uh, you've managed to put yourself in mortal peril yet again. You wordlessly chuckle and shake your head. Oh, the situations you get yourself into. Ha ha. You said all that out loud. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Dave, not privy to your private thoughts for once, looks on. <laughs> Why, of course you can recite the mailman oath, you say with a confidence that is as misplaced as it is unfounded. You perk up. Now is your time to shine. Maybe it's the popped collar, but you're feeling good about this one. You got this. You've lied to tons of kids. One more and it will be smooth sailing from here on out. You open your mouth and there's a brief moment where everything feels like it's going to be okay. You immediately start sobbing and crumple into a disgusting mess on the floor. <laughs> Just have a fucking breakdown. I, I would like... Like, we stand there for a good, like, minute, just, like, going through this whole fucking <laughs> internal monologue. He's just staring at us. Then we're just like, finally, ready. And then it all falls apart. <laughs> <laughs> oh, uh, fuck. Wow, okay. Jesus Christ. <laughs> You're not a real mailman. You never were. You, you don't even have a real mailman out there. You're a fraud. You don't even know how much stamps cost. Oh, my goodness. Crappy <laughs> oh my god. Jesus, just... Okay. It's, uh... It's gonna be alright there, um... <laughs> Dave squats down next to your deflated body and pats you a little awkwardly on what he assumes is your shoulder. You say you're sorry you tricked him, you just wanted to impress him because John said he was so cool. Impress him by posing as a mailman. <laughs> yeah, the coolest mailman. I wanted to be the coolest mailman. Thanks for the follow, Rage. Uh, I got the notification over on our Twitter. Nice. <laughs> oh, God. It's, uh. I wanted to be a cool mailman. It's fine, I guess. Fuck, dude. Get a hold of yourself. 
<laughs> he tries to get you, uh, t he tries to get up, but you are desperately clinging to his shirt, confessing everything. Confessing to made-up crimes you didn't even commit. Oh. Look. My guy. We, uh... We all make mistakes. <laughs> Please stop whatever this is. I'm pretty sure you're harmless. And I don't think you actually killed anyone with your ass, or you were ever an accessory to burning down an alien mall, or whatever insane shit you just said. I don't know. I don't know about that one, Chief. <laughs> yeah, you kind of got caught up in the moment and just started saying made-up shit. You think? Made Maybe. Up. Maybe. See, you can picture it very vividly in your mind, but it's all so fuzzy at the same time. Yeah. Was it maybe a dream? Something else? <laughs> Something about a hot dog boy. A sexy, sexy clown. <laughs> so insanely sexy. Just so sexy. <laughs> <laughs> you ask Dave if he's mad at you. Are you mad at us? Are you mad at me? <laughs> Nah, dude. Get up. Dave helps you back up onto your feet. You come clean in an only slightly more controlled and dignified way this time. You explain how there are these huge gaps in your memory and that you somehow ended up with these abilities that let you traverse space, time, and sometimes even reality itself. Dave doesn't say much for a change, and it doesn't seem like he's listening at first, but you think maybe he just has one of those faces. Ooh, mood, me too. Yeah. Let me get this straight. One day, you just appeared in the suburb. No memories, except you have some mysterious teleportation power. You dig through some unsuspecting clumps of mail looking for clues. Through some ridiculous universal happenstance, you just happen to stumble upon the most gullible fucking dork in the universe. A friend him. Also, I'm there via text. Egbert gives you a list of friends to visit. Out of all those choices available to you, myself included, you go see Rose first. Rose fucking Lalonde. Even though we built up such a good report when I told John you weren't a real man, man. <laughs> Followed it, by the way. Your first instinct is to visit the most heavy-handed of us all for some light kinship. Power move, I guess. Mailman out here wave dashing for friendship. <laughs> <laughs> Can't even spare a neutral for old Strider, huh? Won't even back in the corner and spam your range attack for the D-Man. <laughs> Tragedy and two acts. Two acts. <laughs> Both acts are titled Betrayal. <laughs> you definitely understand what is being said and absolutely don't have to ask your friends what some cool video game words are. You are 100% not pulling the boldest how do you do fellow kids the world has ever seen. Besides, is that really the thing to be focusing on right now? You fucking wounded me, mailman. Of course it is. Nothing is more important to me than this. They say that humans only use 10% of their brains because I'm using 90% of it to think. How dare you! <laughs> so anyway, you can really go anywhere. See anyone you want. Sounds nice. For all but a moment, the act drops and you see the corners of his mouth tighten a little. The fading afternoon light filters through his sunglasses at just enough of an angle to see his eyes shift ever so slightly towards the window. These subtle movements would surely be lost on most. If you weren't so focused on trying to read him, or even just slightly further away, you may have missed it yourself. There was almost a loneliness in his voice. It must be hard to live here by yourself, so far away from the people who care about you. Can you not say all that straight to me, to my face? <laughs> no. It's possible that you have been so focused on trying to blindly make friends that you've forgotten that in front of you is a real living person. You can't help but wonder if there is something you can do. You said you can take people with you, right? 
not like you need to teleport John around. Does that work with anybody? This is it. The path to this kid's heart is as clear as day. Fuck what you said just now. That friendship juice is so close you can practically fucking taste it. Oh, it's so you try not to look excited, affecting Dave's cool persona as you say fuck yeah you can take people with you. You scope out your fingernails because for some reason that is what you do when you're acting cool. This works to the full extent it can coming from someone who not but 7 minutes and 32 seconds earlier was rolling around on the floor damp with their own tears. Did he have some place in mind? Yeah. I mean... I got some ideas I can bounce off you, I guess. How do you feel about... Shh, shh, shh. With a swift finger to his mouth, you cut him off. He doesn't seem to like that very much, but you still consider it a <laughs> successful maneuver. There's no need for words between friends. You know just where he wants to go. Just think really hard about it. Think about where you want to be, Dave. Think about what is important to you. Think about what you really want. <laughs> it will be more magical this way. Friendship is magic, after all. You just made that up right now. Don't look it up. <laughs> Damn, guess that's true. He closes his eyes and you put a hand on his shoulder. This is it. Putting your trust in the magic of friendship, you focus this power externally as much as you are able. Flashes of distant but somehow familiar imagery course through you. The quiet stillness of the suburbs, the smell of the forest, the heat of an apartment rooftop, the ocean breeze. You extend it outwards as much as you are able. This is his rodeo. You are merely the... Vehicle. What the fuck? Ah, uh, fuck yes. The two of you stand near a sign that says please wait to be seated. A very cheery hostess has a brief exchange with Dave and ushers the two of you to an open table. Oh, hell fucking yes. There is no mistaking it. Better get my motherfucking breadstick on! Oh my god! This is absolutely an olive garden. <laughs> fuck yeah it is. You're, when you hear your family, dog. <laughs> While you're still new to this, you can't really seem to detect any irony in his voice. You thought for sure he'd want to go see his friends. You thought you had him figured out. First and last mistake, mailman. But well, you'll learn. I'm a mystery. Got that history. <laughs> Fucking <laughs> fucked with the plot. My flow so hot they leave me looking blistery. <laughs> Originally ambiguous. My rhymes continue. At the OG with my homie where the breadsticks are continuous. You know what? You know what? Fuck it. You just let him go on for a while. You don't even know if that last one rhymed, but fuck it if you aren't charmed by this little bastard. Absolutely I am. So char- Deadass. <laughs> Completely 100% seriously, I am. Absolutely. Uh, you lean back in your chair and just absorb it all. Sitting in the worst restaurant imaginable with your new rapping teen friend while the other patrons do their best to ignore his incredible rhymes. So embarrassing, I love him. <laughs> After a short while, Dave abruptly stops freestyling and you open your eyes. Oh, you know, oh fuck, you know what time it is. Time for a fucking car to go by my window. Broom, broom! Uh, no, your sprite doesn't have a watch drawn on it. It's bread 630, no watch necessary. My page says Dave has black eyebrows, so I'm pretty sure black or brown is his natural hair color, but the thing is, he self-describes himself as a blonde in the comic. Hmm. So... He could just be a blonde person with dark eyebrows. Those exist. <laughs> I am one yeah. of those. Yeah. <laughs> See, hair is bullshit. Everything's bullshit. Yeah. Humans are bullshit. Yes. <laughs> we are a species of completely bullshit people. You can tumble Ooh. down a fucking mountain and be okay. Slip on the <laughs> fucking street. Your entire spine is fucked. Mm -hmm. <laughs> but, uh... <laughs> Fuck me, I love breadsticks. Never talk about it. 
This is the real and very hidden character trait that nobody knows about me. Wait, that sounds like a very real and hidden character trait that nobody knew about him. God, I want some breadsticks. Yeah, man. That sounds good. Uh, and we are certainly not finding this out now because of a series of seemingly unrelated events that possibly changed the continuity of this universe, allowing these sorts of otherwise narratively unimportant traits to shine through. Wow, he is really going to town on those breadsticks. <laughs> Maybe this is all friendship needs to be. Spending some quality time with a solid bro and just absolutely decimating some bottomless breadsticks at a bad chain Italian <laughs> restaurant. I, man, I really want some fucking bad Italian chain breadsticks right now. Yeah, oh, yeah same. Man. Where the fuck is an olive garden? Let's find an olive garden at a central point between all three of us. I'll meet you there. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> Might be a few days, but... <laughs> I'll meet you guys in, like, central space. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Central space. <laughs> Maybe the... All good. Maybe the real lesson here is friendship doesn't have to be a grand gesture or high adventure. Maybe the real friends... I understand you are having a moment, but I'm absolutely going to eat your breadsticks if you don't stop talking about what friendship means to you. <laughs> yeah, man. Whatever you want. <laughs> yeah, man. <laughs> oh, Get goodness. that bread! Oh... That was this, Pastor Quest. This is the end of the stream. Only this, thing we needed. Only thing we will ever do. That's the end of the channel. That's the end of the planetaria. It's been great. Yeah. Maybe the real friends are the bread we ate along the way, Paige. Yeah. <laughs> when we upload this VOD, it's just going to be in bright red text, Dave. And that's just going to be it. That's, yeah. that's, that's it. We're done. Good night, everybody. Good night. I adore it, Dave. Yeah. What? God, this is one of my favorite roots. It's he's so good. Bread oh, gotten. Bread. Uh, I can taste those shitty breadsticks already. Mm. Can any of us drive? <laughs> no. <laughs> I have the ability, I do not have the means. I never even got my <laughs> permit, man. I'm fucking 20 years old. <laughs> it's okay, it's different on the moon. Yeah, fuck it. I'll ride my unicycle. <laughs> Did I tell you guys we have a unicycle now? <laughs> oh yeah, you were kind of laughing a unicycle, weren't you? Yeah, it's for my sister, but I, I, I kind of doubt she's actually going to bring it with her to college, which means I get it. <laughs> it was a gift for you a gift for me like, she got her car it's fine <laughs> you know I really love the mental image of Leo just unicycling down like a fucking highway <laughs> yeah <laughs> absolutely helmet on dunce cap glued to the top did you unicycle feet too? <laughs> <laughs> oh god. Now we goof, but do y'all wanna do Jade's route and finish the, the beta kids? Yeah, let's get them out the way. I, I, mean, I, I half kinda just wanna stop here. <laughs> <laughs> just for to just have one Dave VOD. One single uh, solitary Dave. Yeah. Just, just one Dave as a treat. Yeah, because I, but, I but think that would be the funniest shit. It would be funny, but I I do want to see Jade through today. Yeah. All right, I'm gonna split the vod so we can do both things. Nice. <laughs> yeah. Cool. God, we're so smart. Leo, Fucking you're so smart. Geniuses. All right. End recording. <laughs>